Hi, I'm County Commissioner Jeff Fix. I'm here today with uh, Burn Union Superintendent John Parker. We're uh, sitting in the new K-12, uh, pre-K-12 school in Burn Union. It just opened a couple weeks ago and we're very excited about uh, having a new school in our uh, county and maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, your new school and uh, I'm really interested to hear about how you built this uh, beautiful place uh, without asking the taxpayers to step up. Well, welcome. Thanks. Well, uh, pleasure to have you here today and um, yeah, we were very fortunate a few years ago um, when uh, TC Energy built a new gas line through our district and um, we started to realize the, the uh, PUP revenue would allow us to build this new school without going to the voters to ask for money to do the school. So that's really a, kind of a blessing for our district and uh, obviously other decisions made by our board and treasurers in the previous years put us in position to take advantage of the situation. So we were able to build this, you know, what we wanted to build. Um, with an auditorium, gym space, um, beautiful classrooms, and again, at no cost to our community. That's amazing. And so you've got pre-K all the way through uh, 12th grade. Correct. All in, all in basically what is one building? Mm-hmm, that is correct. That's yep. uh, unique, I would think. Yeah, we had a, the, the same situation in the old building, but now we have wings so we can keep everyone separated a little bit and everyone can have their own identity, which that, is really nice. That's, that's cool. So, you know, you've uh, heard me talk about our land use plan, and I <coughs> can't go through one of these things without talking about that. Um, but, uh, you know, we're working really hard to plan for the future of Fairfield County. We know growth is coming, commercial growth, uh, residential growth. And um, one of the things that we've really focused on in our conversations when we go to each township or each village um, is to talk about how, uh, you know, what the plans look like will impact the school district, right? Um, because we want to make sure that we're not uh, overgrowing um, or overburdening a, a school district with, you know, all these new students without finding a way to help pay for it. So uh, we talk about um, protecting the land, you know, by with using density and protecting the taxpayers um, with these agreements that we'll put in place between uh, the townships or villages and the developers and the school systems and the villages uh, to uh, put tax overlays in place that will uh, make it so that, you know, there is a, a revenue stream that goes into the school district. Uh, to make sure that you know we're not going back to the taxpayers saying, "Hey, we have to build another school now because we've got 100 new students." Um, so, you know, I know that you sat through our, our meeting with the Village of Sugar Grove. Can you talk about, um, you know, what your thoughts are as a superintendent and how we're <coughs> trying to, to approach this? Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you because when I sat through that meeting, I was very appreciative of the fact that the county is really thinking long term about the growth of our county, and, and, and obviously, growth is coming with the te technology boom in Columbus area with uh, Intel and Google and all the building that's going on. So this is something we've been really concerned about. And so it was refreshing and exciting to hear that the county commissioners are, are working on a plan, working with the, the different localities to make sure we're prepared when this growth shows up. And um, I just can't thank you enough for that. Well, I, I appreciate that. It's, uh, it's a combined effort. We've got a great team. And uh, you know we found that the villages and townships at first may be reluctant to um, you know, accept growth, um, but as we've had these conversations, uh, we've, we've felt the, the uh, paradigm shift, right? Where um, there's a recognition that growth is coming, how can we best prepare for it? And how can we take care of our fire department? How can we take care of our roads? And how can we take care of our schools? So um, it's, uh, it, it's a good team effort and we're, we're making real progress on it and there's a lot more work to come. Um, but I, I think this is a great example of, you know, how a school district can not only manage its finances in a way, but take advantage of growth opportunities to build really an amazing new facility and not ask the taxpayers to step up. So congratulations to you. Thank you. And thank you to you for, uh, for doing that. Um, what else you want to tell us about the Burn Union school system before we wrap it up? Uh, uh, Last year, and you, you again, thank you for being part of this. That's right. We did a program called BU Next, where we were trying to figure out something exciting to do with a new building with our students. And uh, Mr. Heath, our high school principal, 
uh, came up with an idea where we would do this program called BU Next, where we would have teams of students create the next school, the next new school, right. in 30 to 40 years. And so they had to look at population trends, growth trends, uh, taxes, what, where the yeah. taxes may yeah. look at. Yep. That, revenue streams and so they had to create the new school build a 3d model of it i did get a chance to come down for that and i was really blown away um, by some of the creativity uh, and ingenuity that the kids uh, built into their projects um, the fact that they were looking at the finances and what they thought the growth would be over the next 50 years and how many students and what the school would look like and uh, it was just a, a really cool way to see um, the next generation of leaders uh, kind of, you know, explore, you know, what their future looks like, right? So, uh, you know, knowing that uh, 50 years from now, we probably won't be sitting here talking about the new school system, but Correct. maybe yeah. one of those kids will be, mm -hmm. right? And uh, it was, it's an, really a, a amazing program, and I was happy to be a part of it. So thank you to you and your team for, for that as well. I, I really um, can't say enough, uh, if any of you get a chance to come down to Burn Union for a basketball game or a football game or just to check out the place, uh, we're really proud to have uh, Burn Union Schools as a part of Fairfield County and look forward to uh, a, a great future. And thank you very much for thank all you. you're doing. And thanks thank for your time you. today. Yep.